Okay, okay. Try hard mo mode. The Gobblestone can do this. I believe in the Gobblestone. That's cursed. Please do not do this ever again. What? Come I don't know how to cannon rush on this map. Uh, guys, he can hear us all. I know. I'm, I'm making him think I'm gonna cannon rush, when in truth, I'm gonna cannon I rush. I mean, the game. <laughs> No, honestly, what do oh, I plant? A gate or a forge? Gate or forge? Oh, I'm already casting you. All right. So, um, Cobble is doing a very dirty move, but I don't think it's a cannon rush because he's not building a, a forge. It's a fake pile. Still, new cannon. I'll make sure he doesn't get destroyed before the two minute mark. Cobble is going for the standard build, but he accidentally put four probes in the Vespin Gazer. Which is not a big deal, but... Okay, he fixed it. Nuke is... Um, well, traditionally, Nuke is a player of the law. Which assumes that he doesn't cheese. And if, and if he does cheese, it happens maybe like one game in a hundred. So we can assume uh, that he's playing a pretty standard build. Uh, Roach, uh, Ling Roach, maybe Hydras. To brood. Cobble knows, however, he can't win in a macro game, so he has to come up with something um, more interesting, more creative, like uh, Glaive Adepts in the previous game. Twilight first again. Well, I assume it's gonna be either a uh, charge lot rush or again depth because going blink in uh, PvZ makes very little sense against Zerglins. Nuke, what is doing? What is Nuke doing? Okay, it's charge. Well, well, well. That's interesting. Nuke is going metabolic boost and again the overlord speed for scouting. Six lanes are on the way, which are kind of too late, I guess, but whatever. Base is under attack. Okay. Niggas droning. Ben Queens and stuff. Probably doesn't su suspect anything. Oh, apparently he does now, because there's an overlord fl flying right into Cobble's base. He's gonna see it all. And he did. He doesn't know, however. Oh no, he does. Just like two gate building. There's an adept. It it will probably hold the line, yeah. Milk apparently is not satisfying satisfied with the result of his counting, so he left the overlord to see something on his way back. Nuke, meanwhile, is finishing his Roach Warren. I'm gonna build some Roaches soon enough, and if he does get a sufficient amount of Roaches, uh, Cobble simply won't be able to uh, rush him with charge lots, because 
Oh, it's not a charge lot, Rush. It's a two base proto saline. Okay, um, did Nuke see it? Now I wonder. Yeah, I think he did. Okay, does... Cobalt does have a prism, so he will get some reinforcements. Now, the Overseer is flying back. Uh, he sees no army here whatsoever. So he knows something's up, and... I don't think one Overlord will be able to do it, but there's a pretty decent amount of charge lots. However, the Warp Prism is right in the, his main. He's already warping in charge lots. But why Evolution Chambers? Okay. Now, because on two bases, but he's decent worker advantage. So he will be able to hold this one, I think. Especially if he gets the Queens and Leans. He created over here an and the Biles are landing right on top of the charge lots. There's one Overlord flying right over everything. One more to Stalkers now. Kobol has uh, no economy behind it, so I don't think he will be able to hold even push it. I don't know what he thought uh, when he did this, but. Uh, to make this all-in work, you usually need two or even three Immortals uh, to deal enough damage to... Uh, it's 40 supply to 60. But it's a... 40 supply of Protoss. Cobble, you gotta pull your salads back. Alright. What are you doing? Seriously, get an immortal. You won't be able. Definitely. Especially against Roaches. Third base, cancel. There's still no gas uh, in natural of Cobble. And 10 probes only in the mineral line. I think he gave up on his economy. Well, Nuke just went for Florencia's natural. In this choke point, uh, Nuke will be zealots, uh, charge lots, which are melee units, they can't attack at once. They have to line up to attack, like uh, people now do in supermarkets during quarantine and social distancing. The drones are pulled. Uh, Cobble got some forces down on the low ground. Which did not contribute to the fight, but I don't think they would change much, honestly. Cobble just now expanded. Uh, he still doesn't have fully saturated mineral lines on his main and natural. So I don't actually know what he's hoping for. He's got 12 army supply versus 50. Nuke is gunning down on him. That's one plus against plus nothing, four plus nothing zealots. And a stalker. Yep, the drones are pulled, Nuke, apparently Nuke doesn't know what Cobble has, and he doesn't want to risk it, so he pulls his drone, which he actually can do because he's a... He doesn't have that many drones actually, only 10 left, he pulled all of them, wow. If Nuke loses now, which he won't, uh, Cobble wins, probes are pulled. 
Kobol doesn't have, however, money and army to withstand the fight. He is so very dead. And it's uh, 2-0 for Nuke in this best of five. Apparently I'm gonna have a co-caster here, a Wu's allegiance leader. I mean, I got absolutely destroyed by Nuke. Which is, uh, which is fine, I guess. It is as if, I don't know, Rotterdam would get destroyed by uh, stats or zest. Or several. Uh, last time I remember me and Nuke play, I think I won. Uh, what's your MMR? That depends. Uh, right now is bad, but my top MMR is 4.75, maybe. Okay. How did Nuke get Master 1? Holy god, he's been grinding. Or he said. Or maybe it's the bug. Hmm. I mean, I got Masters 3 in a 2v2 uh, due to the bug. I don't know, we just thrashed every game, we got 5 wins in a row and like... Okay. How are you Diamond then? Me? Yeah. Um, first of all, I haven't played that much this season. I've yeah. just played 82 games. Uh, <laughs> second of all, I, I've been not been playing that good. If I'm going to be completely honest, I've been sucking at the game lately. Yeah. I, I, I think it's mostly because I hate these maps. Mm. I, I can't take engagements. There are too many rams. And there's just way too much uh, drop and run by potential. Sure, I have five armies that sits around here since there's still two coming into my natural and me. Yeah, I agree uh, with you on that one. Especially Terran drops, right? Too mad if I sneak into your main. I don't know, on pure gene. The industry feels uh, like bullshit. Anyway, in the bottom right hand corner, we got ourselves our current champion. Nuke official. In the top left corner of the map are blue Protoss. Down to O, uh, but maybe we can pull it back. It is cobblestone. But maybe we can't. What? But maybe we can't pull it back. I mean, I understand casters have to stand biased, but for the memes. Well, let's I don't know. see. I mean, as I said in the previous game, Kobolnowski can't win a macro game against Nuke for obvious reasons, so he has to come up with something creative. So Nuke goes for the late speed, but he will have a lot more minerals. Hmm. I wonder what he will do with this if he rebuilds. Oh. GG. That was oh. a fast game. Yeah. Maybe crash? I don't know. No. Probably not. Can we reload? I think he did a mistake in his build. Like, place the pylon somewhere. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I mean, or we just didn't see what Nuke did to win the game. Yeah, I didn't block his pull. Can we please restart? Dude, you can't block his pull. There's like too much space. Yeah, yeah, but he was really close to coming up to the drone that was gonna build the pool. I know. There's, there's so hard. He is fucking diamond. Like seriously, you don't block pulls. I mean, I understand like blocking uh, the expansion, but not pools haven't you seen that <laughs> just asking have you, have you never seen a protoss trying to block a pool i mean uh not, not, not doing it but trying in a gsl match 
your own ladder games, for example, if you have ever played Zerg. Uh, I don't play Zerg. No, but as an off race, maybe. No. I uh, I have really huge problems. First of all, I'm plat uh, with pro <laughs> Lamel, so like off racing uh, is overrated at this uh, level. Second of all, I really don't understand how to drone, uh, how to have enough drones. More, more, that's more like it. Because I always have uh, too few. Why am I 30 drones at like, I don't know, five minutes? Like, where do they all go? And then there's like Archon drops coming down into my natural. So yeah, no Zerg for me. me. Anyway, we have the same placement. Cobble in the top left and bottom right. Um, so Nuke goes for the 15 hatch, but this time he will actually have gas to build speed. Pretty normal timings from Cobble, so I'm getting that natural up. He's actually skipping on probes to get that cyber. I mean, you have to have like 21 for the cyber. Yeah, he skipped first. He skipped the probe to get it earlier. Uh, he built it at 20 and uh, queued the probe right after it, so I don't think it really counts. He um, still waited a couple of seconds to build it earlier. That is called skipping a probe. Okay, Mr. Professional. I mean, Cobbler's Diamond. I don't think we should we should be casting a GSL match here. I don't know. No, I, no, I, I was just explaining the skipping a probe thing okay. to get a building earlier. Anyway, uh, it's uh, Robo first this time. I guess Cobol uh, finally decided to uh, to go for a, a macro game. I'm surprised, however, that he didn't build it uh, in the wall because normally uh, you would build it as the third building to wall off your natural. Maybe he doesn't want uh, Nuke spotting it. I don't know. I mean, uh, Nuke will spot it because there's a lot on there's an overlord flying, and Nuke is researching the carapace, so he will see it eventually. Uh, either way, Cobble will uh, rally the forces down. Like, uh, if you see, the rally point for the Robo is right oh, <laughs> at the choke point in the natural, so the Overlord will see whatever comes out of it. So hiding... Uh, no point in hiding it. And there's another gateway. So, um, if Nuke had links across the map, uh, Cobble would right now be in trouble. Not dead, I think he would hold it. Uh, probes, one stalker, maybe enough, but he would definitely be in trouble and there would, there would be a lot of lost mining time. Nuke is claiming gases on the natural. Yeah, I'm actually surprised there's no lair yet. I don't know if that out. The lair pops out. Since you want to get the roach speed as fast as possible. Twilight coming up from cobblestone, so and a second robo. I'm actually wondering what this is gonna be. Two robos and a twilight. I mean he's got gases in natural, no probs in them yet, but he built them, so I guess it's not an all-in. And it's already too late for it anyway. But why two robots? I don't think you really need two robots unless uh, you can full on immortal production, or maybe glossy and stuff. Mm, yeah, makes two mortals. He maybe he just. 40, uh... He's at four probes. He should be getting uh, forge right now. Hmm. I think he will just go for a all-out immortal push, maybe? Did I mean, Cobble uh, see the Roach Warren? Now he does. Okay, the uh, he was finally flying into the Cobble's main. There's the Forge. 
Uh, he will say everything. He sees there are two robots. Uh, Kobul can catch him off guard with this, especially if there's like enough immortals. They will just uh, steamroll through those roaches. Um, even now, however, Nuke is not producing any roaches. He is uh, feeling confident. He feels safe right now. Okay. Yeah, I think he's feeling safe because he hasn't seen anything move out and he got the vision on no, top of the did. bases. He did see everything. He flew a uh, goddamn overlord right over Kabul's main and natural. Okay, uh, there's a Templar Archives, which means... Charge on more lock on. And another gateway. I wonder if this third base is a fake one, if he will cancel it, or if I this... don't think so, because... Um, I mean, he's at 46, he's not building any more probes. Yeah, that was probably the main reason he's not building any more probes as well. Or maybe he just wants to uh, have a third base if the attack fails. Uh, yeah, maybe. And I think he might consider it a bait. Oh god, Nukas. <laughs> Hotkey to five drones. The drones will fight. Pull the boys. Um, hmm. I mean, he's got Hydras. Models are not I... that great against Hydras, and definitely not great against Lings. The Five armor models. composition is just a win for Nuke, oh. but maybe a miracle happens. Maybe he gets a war prism out in time to micro on the These models. Are... Uh -huh. The Archons why? actually survive on the south and will start yeah, attacking the Hydras. Yeah, the Archon is so low, like, why do you need to kill it? It's a like, is two H hit points, like... Oh my god, so low. <laughs> that was actually a very good defense by Cobblestone with what he had. I mean, I don't think it was like super good. I think uh, uh, it was decent. I agree. He defended it. But I think uh, Nukes just tried to attack it in the wrong way. He couldn't utilize his links really because uh, uh, Cobble blocked uh, the path. So basically, he had like only height was sufficient amount of damage. Yeah, I think he should have just went for the third base. If I'm going to be honest, because it, the mortals couldn't get out. I mean, they could. Uh, yeah, mortals can. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they, they can, can walk they can the hole, feed but through the hole. Can't, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you have to pick up, uh, pick them up with, with the prism if you build them inside your natural. Yeah, yeah of course uh, he would be able to walk the immortals through, but that would take a lot of time to get them all through, and then go for the third base. And I think Nuke could already be knowing what's going on and then surround them. Um, robotics facility is on the way. I assume it's going to be disruptors because. Uh... When I played against Nuke uh, just a few games ago, uh, Cobble lectured me that I should get Disruptors against Lurkers, which I should, but I didn't. I think he's going for the Colossus, if I'm going to be honest, but he could go, in, he could go no, for the... Uh, I he's actually a queued up think... Disruptor. He's actually yeah. a queued up a Disruptor. Uh, as I said, he assumes Lurkers will go into Lurkers eventually. And Colossi uh, can't really deal with... It's a dead third, by the way. Oh, he pulled it. He pulled the boys, which is okay, I guess. But he will still lose violence. Not the base, though. While the main army of uh, Nuke attacks, just attack the fourth. And there are already, uh, how many? Seven lurkers. That's why uh, Cobble really needs just disruptors. Because uh, each lurker will die. Disruptor hits. Yeah, I think it's two. Yeah, it is two. 
I, I don't know about the situation with plus three or is there's no armor, but it's definitely two normally. Yeah, but disruptor is a spell. Uh, oh yeah, I yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. It is true. Is it on droning? He will just. He's at. Uh, they're actually on equal army supply, but New has like 15 more workers or something. Yeah, Drop the lords. mining Are you isn't seeing this? Are you seeing this? Dropper lords incoming. Yeah, this is bad. The yeah, thing yeah. is that new or cobble needs his entire army to deal with nukes. I think. I mean, no. Uh, he's gonna drop four lurkers into cobble's main. Oh my gosh! My gosh! Cobble, watch out! Lurkers. Uh, oh no, not lurkers. Zerglins. Eight. Uh, the heck out of cobble's third and fourth army. Oh gosh. Yeah. Moves command. I think it looked like it's maybe not. Either way, he's hitting all the bases, all the probes are being pulled across the map. Hmm. It's an all in, but Nuke has uh way too much stuff. Mm. Nuke actually goes for the two spires, so the double upgrade is gonna come up. I, I don't think his economy is great, but I think he, this is just, I think Cobble is just dead if uh, Nuke can manage to win this one fight. I mean, yeah, even if he doesn't, he has enough drones, uh, Cobble's already supply blocked, he can get reinforcements, and he doesn't really have money to get any. I mean, if he wins the fight convincingly, there's just no way of stopping this army. Uh, even five disruptors, they have two long cooldowns to actually deal something, and especially if there are. I don't remember how long cooldown it is. Maybe 16 seconds. It's pretty long. Uh, this is not a good position. He needs to get on up on the high grounds, but at this point he can't. He must I go mean, around or something. I successfully destroying his base, so. Uh, I mean, that is not a problem. He can build one pile and then survive. Oh, he actually builds a base. Oh. I, I don't think uh, Kabul is worried about um, his base is... anymore. Oh, the fuck is this? The March of Changelings. I mean, it doesn't matter because even if he has a base, he won't die, but he has no production. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have money to use his. He has probes, but he can't build anything. Oh no, he's he runs in with all his things into way too many lurkers, and I just think this is not a good situation. Honestly, I think the Protoss just can't walk up the ramp against this many lurkers, so uh, basically a very defensible position, like here, here, and here. Yeah, you need to... It's not very nice walking up a ramp versus Lurkers. Yeah. Just, it's a 3-0 for Nuke. He won. Can we go one more? GG Nukes, Nuke wins. Are you gonna play against Nuke now? I don't know if I have time. I have school tomorrow. But we can start a game. I'm, I will probably have to go. So, I think, uh, are we supposed to cast this game or something? Hey, 
Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, we got a Terran, and we got a Zerg. I think there's a little bit of input delay, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, all right. So Zerg is doing Zerg things, and Terran is doing Terran things. And Zerg is attacking Terran. And Terran is not attacking Zerg back. Okay, now now he is. Terran is attacking the Zerg back. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's see what we got here. I actually don't know who's uh, playing. I know it's Nuke. There we go. It's Nuke and Lurks. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we have Nuke, who's a German. And we have Lurtz, who is a Russian. It is a rivalry as old as time. And Nuke is just putting some pressure on the Terrans. Now, okay. Nuke is just going to be roaming the map. Uh, I actually have no uh, information regarding worker count, upgrades, whatever. Can you put up the production, Gabe? Is that possible? Oh, okay. Now, this is a 2v1, it seems like. The cobblestone. Cobblestone alerts versus nuke. Okay, all right. I believe there are two Terrans versus one Zerg. Now, the Terrans are going to lose if they keep not attacking Nuke. Because while the Terrans have a 2v1, they have a double supply advantage against Nuke. But eventually, Nuke is just going to get so many units that it's just going to overwhelm them. Nuke's doing a little bit of scouting there. Um, Nuke is on point, correct. Okay, so the Terrans need to mobilize now, or else um, Nuke is going to... Nuke is going to hit his um, his stride, and he's going to overwhelm those little little marines. Is that a ghost? What? Why do we have a ghost at this ace, <laughs> this uh, stage of the game? Question mark. It's okay. It's all right. Nuke in the chat saying thanks. I'm telling you, man. The Terrans have got to move out right now. There is a ghost academy. Why? Come on, guys. This is dumb. He's got a Banelin nest. Incredible. He wanted to nuke. Inc incredible. Incredible work. Okay. That's uh. That 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 is indeed pretty good. Okay. <laughs> That's a, some scans going down. Um. Now, when you're playing two v one, there are a couple advantages. There there are three main advantages, especially as Terran, that you have. First of all, you have double the workers. That means you have double the income. Um, that means you're almost always twice as far ahead as your opponent. Um, you have double the army supply, right? So that means you you are able to... Okay. Uh, you are able to uh, probably 
almost always have double the amount of army that you were doing. And uh, number three, uh, you have map control. I mean, look at this. Terran, the Terrans, you know, they have half the map. Almost as much as uh, as much as Nuke has has control of the map. I mean, l look at that. I mean, if you don't push with those three advantages, then um, <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what you're trying to do. You're just you're just hand handing this game to Nuke. All right, there's another base. Good. I like this direction. Good job, uh, alerts. I like it. Okay. Nuke's doing some scouting. Pretty spot on. L look at all those units in the base. Oh my word. Shame on you. Okay. You need to send them out and attack them. Right about now. Because Nuke has about like two army supply. Alright, do you understand this? Double double the income. Double the army supply. And double the map control. Yeah, th th that's basically two units compared to how much Terran has right now. Okay, basically. This 2v1 is going terribly. Look at this. Nuke's almost uh, going on his first pair of upgrades. Look at that. Ridiculous. It's okay, though. It's okay. They're, they're moving out now. Um, of course, if I was playing Terran, um, I'd be trying to figure out what a, what a factory was. So I can't, uh, I can't ding him too hard. Only a little bit. All right. Uh, Nuke is going to break those rocks on the top. Now, there's three ways I can see this game going. First is that Nuke's going to win because the Terrans are doing nothing but sitting at home. Okay? And Nuke's going to go up to 200, 200 supply. He's going to go up to eight bases. And he's going to win. And he's going to throw, keep throwing army supply at them. Number two, Nuke's going to win because these two Terran players are, uh, are not really on their game. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that's, that, that's good. But uh, they're going to lose a bunch of workers to banelings and marines to banelings. Okay, it's not going to have to do anything with uh, with them with an overwhelming advantage. Okay, they're just going to lose because Nuke has better units because Zerg is actually overpowered. Um, and I'm, I'm a Zerg, and I fully admit that. Uh, and number three, um, third option is Nuke is going to win uh, because he's in, he's actually a moderator. So um, a local TV moderator. Those, those are the three reasons Nuke, Nuke will actually win. I mean, I could be surprised, right? All right, th th I like this drop move out here. Um, it's pretty good. Oh, he's not going to do Okay, now, now he's going to go do something. Kind of put a lot on, little bit of pressure. All right, with two players, you also have two brains, which means you should attack at the same time in order to do the most effective work. All right, Nuke spots the drop, I think. So he's going to um, he's gonna mobilize his units. He's going to make a whole bunch of units and try to take what is essentially maybe 160 supply of Terran army and uh, we combat it with his own maybe 100, 110. It's going to be a little tricky for Nuke here. Uh, I, don't, I don't like it. Um, but uh, the Terrans would have definitely gotten a, a bigger advantage if they would have moved out a little earlier. Don't do not do that. Just go ahead and attack. Go in and attack, man. They got those Banelings. All right. All right. Oh, good. Little run by by Nuke. Although he's going to... Um, He's going to miss this drop. Maybe he can, uh... He can push this drop back. Alright, Nuke is going to run right into the middle of that siege tank line. Oh, fantastic. Didn't, uh, didn't, didn't see that going. Uh... Little run by. Okay, he needs to move in. Lurts, come on, man. Come on. Come on, you, you have the power to end this game right now. Come on. Come on, man. You're so you're almost there, bro. Almost there. Look at that. Uh, did Nuke just destroy a whole mineral line? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Oh, come on, come on. Right there. He's right there. Cobble, come on. One, two strike, and he's out. Come on. Nuke, all you gotta do is make a bunch of banelings, man, and then you win. By default. Easy. Banelings are pretty good units. He's got roaches and ravagers. All right, it's pretty good. The spire action going on. Okay. Um, well, it depends on what he makes with the spire. Spires are terrible against uh, mutas are terrible against marines, and uh, 
Oh, he's trying to get those uh, Corruptors there. All right. Corruptors too. Okay, so Cobble is beginning his push right now. But guess what? Uh, I have the Eye Ground. And so uh, what that essentially means is... Oh, hear okay, the drop coming in. Pew, 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 pew. All right. I think this is the make it or break it moment for Nuke. All right. He can uh, choose to engage Cobble's army, which will end in disaster. Or he can choose to defend in Lorse's army. Uh, which then Cobble's army will actually steamroll him. Um, and uh, this game was rigged from the start, obviously. My uh, my projections were pretty accurate, but uh, that's that's a good game. We're loading in. We're loading in. All right, in the. E bottom right corner we have nuke official he's protoss we also have lurts he's a blue zerg ta-da and on top left we have the illustrious cobblestone he's a cyan protoss okay so i, I was i mean i was just kind of memeing uh, last game you know i was just I got into the game and I was like, yeah, what the heck? But, okay, let's let's hypothetically break down this game, okay? 2v1 is such an overwhelming advantage, all right? <laughs> I, I'm not even kidding you. And, and even though Cobblestone, he's a diamond player, I respect diamond players, I, I, I know a few diamond players, he's probably going to get wrecked by Nuke. Lurch doesn't even have to be involved, um, even though Nuke is pretty low i think protoss is his weakest race because he's master he's he's either Di diamond one or master terran and he is um he's a master zerg and um we got something cheesy going on here what's going on here i i, I can't tell okay Little uh, little probe being annoying. Oh oh, that's a proxy pylon, boys. Now that's uh that that yeah that really is a 200 IQ move. I won't uh I won't argue with you on that one. All right, we got our first set of zergs out here. It looks like Lurks and Nuke were planning to play particularly cheesy. Um, you know what's worse than cheese? Double the cheese. I'm serious. I mean, look how many pylons are going down. Look how heavily they're investing into that. Look how many zerglings are heading across the map. Look at that tiny little choke hold thing. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, look at all those cannons going down. Look at all those shield batteries. Look, Cobble's going to GG within the next 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Look at this. Come on. Um, yeah, Nuke, come on. What's going on? Look at that. Easy. Man, I was crazy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay. Um, put Cobble and Lurts in an Archon game together versus Duke. I think that's more fair. In the top right corner, we have our Red Zerg, Nuke Official. In the bottom left, we have our Archon, Blue, Protoss, Lurts, and Cobble. Okay. Now, this is a much more fair fight. I mean, still, um, it's not completely fair, but... Uh, two minds are better than one, even if they are uh, two relatively idiotic minds. Uh, uh, look at that. Um, we have probe heading across the map, meeting the overlord. There we go. What I want to see Nuke do is completely out macro these guys. All right, I clearly have bias here. All right, there's a uh, two minds are better than one. 
cap. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, um, now that there aren't actually two physical players on the map, I think this gives Nuke a better opportunity to actually play regular Zerg style. It's just that. Um, oh, oh! Did you see that, Gabe? Oh, it's a Nidosaur. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's a spawning pool. <laughs> Oh, I'm so, uh, I'm so good at this casting thing. All right, never mind. You can't have an ice worm without a layer. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Mm. Looks like Zerg's being annoying. The question is, is Lurtz controlling this or is Calva controlling it? Uh, oh, he pauses. All right. There we go. Pretty early second base for Protoss. Hey, when do you take your second base? Game done. Game done. Sorry, I have a diamond one Protoss player next to me and he's choosing to ignore me. It's okay. Um, all right, look at that. Corona boosted. Looks like he's warping out an adept. All right, Captain Undead says the expo is pretty on time. I don't play Protoss, so uh, I don't play any race in particular. It's just <laughs> makes me a fantastic caster, obviously. All right, looks like these adepts are going to catch this. These Erglings heading across the map. I'm going to force them back. Look at that. The play is going to be Stargates. You can make a lot of units out of Stargates. If you Alerts, bro. What, bro? This is okay. The BM has already started. Um, but yes, it is. It is noted as as an offensive GG. Okay, um, I've had a couple in my day. All right. There's nothing more satisfying than uh, than absolutely screwing over someone who who gives you an offensive GG. Uh, let's see if Nuke can do that. He can pull it off there. Uh, Nuke is <laughs> the BPM is off the chart. The, the BMPM is off the charts. That's the bad manners per minute. Yes, sir. No, it cannot be. All right. Nuke still has uh, has pretty good vision of what's going on in there. All right. So speaking as a Zerg player. Um, Generally, you want to be ahead in drones, correct? You want to get your third base, you want to saturate it, you want to start building your army. A nuke is droning like no tomorrow, and there's an oracle headed across the map, and if he's not ready, that oracle can zap away at some drones. Finds the third base empty, walks straight into the second base, gets one, gets two, gets three. Drones are pulled off the line, gets four. There you go, prod's fifth one, alright, queen intercepts it, and looks like that oracle will go down. Despite there being two people controlling this race, all right. Five drones. A. That's um, in the grand scheme of things, actually not too big. But uh, uh, as of now, Nuke's gonna be hurting. He's supply blocked. He's down like six workers. Oh, never mind. He's up two workers now. Yes, that oracle pickoff was pretty big. Looks like he's saturating both gases. Saturating his base is going for lair. Look at that. Picks off another oracle. There's the adepts are in the base now. Finally, Nuke gets the spores. 519. I think 430 is a standard sport sport timing. So a little bit late. Looks like Nuke's tech of choice um, is gonna be revealed here once he hits the live. 13 workers! Oh my word. Uh, that is not that is not good for Nuke, um, especially with the 42 workers that Protoss is on. You never want to be playing from behind. Look, he's catching up only just now. Looks like a third base is going to be in progress. Look at that. Robo facility. Um, okay, Spire. All right, this is this is going to be Nuke's tech of choice. All right, he can go for Mutalisks, which I am a big fan of, but at the same time, I hate them with my life. 
the good thing about mutas is they can fly around. They can pick stuff off. Um, you know, it's pretty good. But if Pro, if, uh, uh, but if Protoss has uh, has Phoenix, okay, kind of screwed then, man. Phoenix move faster and can shoot at the same time. War Prism's heading across the map. Archon's being fused in. Looks like for the most part, um, we're probably not going to see another huge engagement until another minute or two minutes. Um, but for now, there's a High Templar. There's another High Templar. Probably going to be seeing Archon drops. Something's happening in the main right there. There we go. Uh, Overseer being picked off. Nuke going for his fourth base. And um, there goes the Overseer. Rest in pieces. 60 workers. Nuke is almost is ten, actually exactly almost nine workers ahead. Eight workers ahead. That's pretty substantial though. That means he can get his army of mutalists coming out here. It means he can stop this push if he doesn't merge him into Archons. Um, Archons can actually deal with mutas. They have a little bit of limited range, but as long as Nuke doesn't clump those mutas together, pick off that war prism, he can deal with that pretty easily. Alright, here we go. Mutas are about to pop off in three, two, one. There we go. Now he's coming in. Nuke spots the War Prism. Now, Nuke needs to pick off that War Prism right now. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Better watch him across the map. You know, when you reveal the Mutas, um, there's a clock that starts ticking down to when... Uh, Protoss builds all them counters for Mutas, but it looks like it's uh, Nuke is pretty investing pretty hard. So uh, if he hits critical mass, it's going to be very difficult to heal with him. He finds the Archons. There we go. Flies away. The good thing about Mutas too is they're the fastest regenerating Zerg unit. So that means they can just fly away, heal up, and come back in. They're pretty annoying that way. Um, can we see the workers killed tab real fast? Okay, so we got two workers. All right, so Nuke hasn't really done much damage. Uh, 61 drones. Looks like Nuke is stabilizing out here. Okay, he's producing probably what will be his last or second to last round of drones. He's got a lot of mutas, man. That kind of hurts, man. Um, just going to start picking around this at this nexus here. There's the P-Nex. I call them P-Nex, but they're just Phoenixes. Okay, well, the Archons are stuck in there. Looks, look, looks a little bit like it. <laughs> oh, man. They're going to need to kill a gateway. Where that side record? All right. That Oracle is uh, going to the town over on the other side of the map. It's all good. Six more, eight more workers on the, on the production tab. That's ridiculous. Wow, look at all those probes going down. Hold up, hold up. Bring up the stats. How many workers have we gotten already? Well, it has to be like 11 or 12, right? It's 60 to 47 workers. That's insane. Ridiculous. 22 to 21. Okay, so Nukes managed to balance it out. In the late game, that's when it matters. Pretty substantial. Look at this. Nukes about to crush them, man. Five more... Mute is on the production tab. Ten more drones. He's about to hit 70 drones. Make up for that oracle. Look at that. Dang. Mute is make quick work of these probes. Yeah. All right. This is Protoss' last ditch attempt. Nuke is going to have to kill everything he can because he's not going to be able to defend at home. No sorry. Okay, Nuke, you killed all his workers, what you gonna do now? Four workers. Nine more meters on the production tab, okay. Look, it's 94 to 75 army supply. Okay. Nine more mutas, okay. All right, come on, come on now.
Oh, he's making a hidden base. Shh. Nuke just needs to just get himself a bank and then get on out of there. All right. He can win from here. He can. Oh, there's a proxy pot <laughs> at the same place. Oh, my word. This is it. This is pretty intense. Okay. All right. Looks like he's uh he's got it up natural. Man. All right, he's about to take Nuke's tech out. Enemies in your base. Okay. Your I think that base is a last ditch attempt. Alright, well, the win condition for Trodos, or for both of them, actually the win condition of the game in general is to kill all the buildings. So, um, Nuke finds his last building, he's gonna be able to, uh, he's gonna be able to win. Look at that. Okay. Your base he's got two bases already, he's gonna attack. take care of these gateways. I don't think the Mutas can engage those Archons straight on. It's going to be a little bit too dangerous. A little bit too much. And once those Stalkers secure the area, I don't know if there's much that Nuke can do. But we'll see. He can he can try and snipe that, uh, that Nexus. Yeah, I think that Nexus is the last building. That ne Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kill those Archons. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, everybody just needs to converge on that nexus. That is literally the last building. Come on. Before the stock No! Okay, I think I think Nick has enough mutas to kill those, uh, those stalkers there, even though uh, he found that base. That base is the last... <laughs> this is pretty close. Oh, wow. This is, this is pretty good. Come on, Nuke. Nuke doesn't know that there's only one building remaining. Okay, that's the issue. All right, picks off these uh, last few zealots. That's good. Got those overlords. Okay, well, Nuke is scrambling to find the last, or uh, the the Protosses are scrambling to find the last base. There it is. They found the creep, I think. But uh, Nuke is now having to engage these stalkers. Looks like it didn't go too well for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty big. All right, nuke me another base. That's good. Come on, come on. Look, the thing is, mute is heal. Stalkers don't. They just regen shields. All right. Looks like Zealots find that base. Whoops. Looks like he saved that base. Pretty good. Okay, look. Protoss is supply block. Only has 26 army. Okay, Nuke is a huge bank. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, spawning pool. All he does is uh is build circlings, man. Come on. What is going on? What is this game? All right, he's gonna be engaging the stalkers. I'm gonna have a, uh, a muta ball. All right, this is Nuke's game. <laughs> gonna call it PG. That's pretty good. Well done. Well done, Nuke. Pretty good. And that is, that is a win for Nuke. All right, my name is is Fluffy Waffle, and uh, and it's been good casting. See ya.